Hey, what's up folks? In this project, we'll show you how we made an emoji keyboard with the Adafruit Cutie Pie RP2040 and the 1x4 Neo Key. Emojis are pretty easy to use on a mobile device, but they're actually kind of annoying when you're on a desktop or laptop. This project takes the macro pad approach and lets you press a single key to make those emojis happen. One button press sends a keyboard shortcut, searches for the desired emoji, and then uses the return key to append it. On Mac OS, the emoji pop-up window lets you pick and search for emojis. Using arrow keys, you can navigate and use the return key to choose your emoji. The Adafruit Cutie Pie RP2040 is the perfect little CircuitPython board for this project. There's no soldering required and you just connect the 1x4 Neo key with a Stemma QT cable. With KL sockets, you can easily swap out the keys for your favorite Cherry MX compatible switches. Our little 3D printed enclosure is a minimal design that snap fits together and keeps everything compact. The CircuitPython demo code for this project by Liz Clark uses the Neo key and the USB HID library. You can customize the key codes and dedicate each one to a different set of commands. Liz put together a code walkthrough in the learn guide so you can get a nice breakdown. There's two different versions of the code, one for Windows and the other for macOS. macOS Big Sur treats the pop-up differently so there's additional delays needed to properly search and pick emojis. A really cool feature is the NeoPixel LEDs will light up a different color for each key and stays lit while the emoji is being activated. This works as a nice indicator so you're less likely to spam the keys, which can definitely still happen. These keycaps are re-legendable so you can add little inserts to decorate each key. I used Carter Nielsen's PDF template to print out a sheet of my favorite emojis. Using an X-Acto and my DigiKey ruler, I carefully cut out each square, making sure to trim along the inside of the dashed lines. This is a pretty easy way to add that extra level of polish to your project for fairly low effort. Having a full color insert with emojis directly on them is a pretty sweet way to label your key switches. Each keycap is two pieces. The top cover is clear plastic that snap fits over a gray keycap. I found it easier to remove the top covers when the keycap is secured to a key switch. Just fit your fingernail underneath the top cover to pop it off. These inserts are sized to perfectly fit inside the top cover. Once inside, it's easy to press fit the covers back onto the gray keycap. They're actually symmetrical, so you can orient them in whichever way you like. If you're looking to design and 3D print your project, be sure to check out our 3D models of Adafruit boards and components. Here, I'm using a model of the Cutie Pie and the 1x4 Neo Key, which features all of the onboard components. They're available on GitHub, so feel free to download them and use them in your projects. To build this project, you'll need a few parts and hardware which we have listed in the description of this video and in the learn guide. The 1x4 Neo Key has four mounting holes which make it easy to secure to an enclosure using M25 hardware. I like to insert a single screw through one of the mounting holes and then fasten the standoffs while holding them in place. Repeat for all four holes, just be sure to install them on the correct side of the PCB. Once the hardware is installed, just line up the mounting holes on the bottom cover with the standoffs. Like before, start with just one screw and work your way through all four mounting holes. The standoffs and screws are both really short, so the PCB has a pretty low profile when secured to the bottom. I designed a built-in holder for the Cutie Pie so it's easy to install with a little snap fit action. Start by inserting the board at an angle so the PCB fits under these little clips in the corner. Slightly flex the cover to fit the Cutie Pie underneath the second set of clips. This will keep the PCB secure so it won't pop out when connecting a USB cable. Then, all it's left to do is connect the Stemma QT cable to the 1x4 Neo key and plug it into the Cutie Pie. This is my favorite part of the project. The frame snap fits over the bottom cover with the large opening lined up with the Cutie Pie's USB-C type connector. The four key slots on the top cover line up with the 1x4 Neo key and just snap fit into place. You'll want to orient the key switches with the sockets so the pins are going straight into the sockets. Lastly, you can add your favorite keycaps to each of the switches to finish this up. I really like how just about everything in this project is modular, including the code, switches, and even the keycap inserts. I hope this inspires you to check out CircuitPython in your next project and share your projects with us on Adafruit's weekly show and tell.